Boris Pardo in net, manning the western goal to our right. Danny Walkman, 38 years young out of Gig Harbor, Washington, mans the eastern goal to our left as the Stars in their white jerseys with a navy blue midriff and the yellow-orange diamond pattern across the waist. White shorts trimmed in blue, white socks will run left to right. Their captain and head coach, Nick Pereira, is waiting behind midfield for the opening touch of tonight's match. 15 minutes are on the clock. It's the Major Arena Soccer League Western Conference Suckers and Stars. And we're underway. Space. Alex Caceres to the top! Boris Pardo coming up with a big save. On the game. Wide open off the change. Oh. McCluskey's in on Pardo. Had to settle the ball. That brought Gutierrez back in, but he settled and scored regardless. And on a terrible line change, the Sockers pay the price and fall behind 1-0. Well, it was the forward hold-up play of Nick Pereira that I was heralding there moments ago. Enough about that, says Vince McCluskey. Let's talk about the left-footed finishing of Tacoma's number 14. Cutting on to the left, blasted near post, not a chance for Boris. And that was gutsy to say the least. Oh, look out here. Here's Farmer on the steal. Waltman kicks it out. Leo chests it down. It's still a chance for the Sockers. It's Serda. It's good. It all started with the Farmer pressure. Cesar Serda finishes it off. We're level at one. You say it starts with the Farmer pressure, and it's absolutely right. And what comes next is a touch with the shoulder from Leonardo de Oliveira. <laughs> That was absolutely magical, and he meant every bit of it. Watch the pressure from Farbizi here. Watch this touch out of the air from Leo. Perfect knockdown from Christian. And Serda comes through with the left foot, and in traffic, Waltman cannot stop it. Along the northern wall, Leo steps in. No call. Challenges, wins. Leo, Leo, Leo. Slav, looking for it. Flicked out of the air. Waltman one-handed. Able to make the save point blank. And it took him away from the keeper. Slow ball to Ramos. But now the ball stretched out. Good hold up play. Back to Ramos with space to shoot and score. Mike Ramos got it started on the defensive end and then triggered a perfect rush down the field. He finishes it himself for his eighth of the year and a 2-1 lead. A huge loss. Giles in the air. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Waltman. Did he keep that ball inside? Farber's down. Looks like he did, and is Brian okay? Brian's okay, and thank goodness. That was dangerous from a few angles. Now what's going on here with, oh, Troy Peterson. Guys, we got back on the, back down on the pitch below us. Troy Peterson and Brian Farber. We're getting into it as McCluskey and Farber are still chatting, but that's Troy Peterson and Brian Farber. And I don't want to jump to any conclusions here. Looking at it again. It was a very dangerous play for Farber, and I was worried about his neck going into that gap between the post and the boards right there and the glass. Mm. And I think he might have kind of glanced his shoulder off. And I'm not sure if he got some contact going into uh, it, but everything seemed hot. Everything seemed absolutely fine until Troy Peterson came over and said something, and suddenly Farber was white hot. Pena and Kia, these are not guys who pull the card easy. Escoto. Bends oh. it! And Waltman had no choice but to stop that one. Has to. Here comes Cox. The one-two! Tripped up. The foul is called. It's a straightaway free kick. And the Stars say... And a blue. There's the blue. I was going to say blue. the Stars say it should be a blue, and it is. If there's contact at all, it's a foul. It's a late challenge. There's clear oh, contact. It's a clear a foul. Blue. It's a blue. And the rest of the team lined up at midfield. There's the whistle. Here's Pereira. The fake and the goal. Silky smooth. Easy. And with the little ironic smile. 3-1 Pereira. 3-1 Stars. Slav to Childs. Off of Caceres. Twice off the line, Caceres. Woo! Wow. But the steal by Serta. The counterattack possibility. It's Farber sizing up. Oh, and Waltman just got enough of that ball. Decent hold up play. It's back in the center circle for the visitors in white, attacking from left to right. 
and those visitors have got the fourth goal of the night. Tacoma make it 4-1. They've got the fifth goal of the evening as a whole, and four of them, would you believe it, have been scored by the Tacoma Stars. How about this, Craig Elston? Well, abysmal marking, and Pee Wee, who had sold out to steal the ball when he lost it, it was 2v1 low, from which point, excellent job by the veteran Jamail Juicecox to commit Contreras, and in fact, Contreras helped deflect that ball into the net. So Cox is the last to touch, will get that credit. As a sculpt, though, takes a shot to the chops. Two fouls from McCluskey in three minutes. Very quick, very quick fouls against McCluskey inside the opening three minutes of this third quarter. But if you're to make a traditional outdoor soccer comparison, I mean, this is the extent. Oh, look out here. Play quickly, and it's in. Slavisha Uba Berapovic makes it 4 2. Goal! San Diego. 12 08 left in the third. Slav on the board. Tacoma complaining about the quick restart. They thought the whistle shouldn't have sounded, but the ball was down, and it was a Skoda to Slav. Perfect squaring pass across the frame. And Uba Parapovic, you give him that spot. Look how he sneaks it in through a mail slot in between Waltman and the right post. The accuracy of Slav for his fourth goal of the year. Oh. Pino cutting in. Pino driving. Pino high off the glass. Leo pokes it away. Leo down in the corner. Leo drives with the left foot. Christian goal. Goal, goal, goal. They're creeping back from 4-1 down to just a goal behind with 10.42 left in the third. That's why you stay with the run, Nate, in indoor soccer. Because for Christian Gutierrez, you don't know where it's going to deflect. Waltman got the leg out there but couldn't get the leg on the ball. Here's Danny Waltman. Here's Brandon Escoto. Here's Cesar Serra. Golazo. Goal! All knotted at four. It's Tijuana to Saltillo for the fourth goal of the night for San Diego. How, how about that left footed finish for. Wow. I don't know what happened there. Left footed finish for Cesar Serra. Faking out Waltman, who thought he would take it with the right. And Escoto, who we talk about needing to be a distributor, coming up with two assists in the quarter. Now some answers are coming for San Diego. Still in the soccer's number 19. Here's Slavisha, Uva Parapovic. Slavisha, Uva Parapovic saved Danny Waltman with the feet. It had to be with the feet. He was out of the box. Here's oh! Slav. Oh! <laughs> Slavisha, Uva Soccer's have the lead, and that will be seen on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Email it to your friends. Save this video. Send it out on VHS, however they got to see it. Make sure everybody sees one of the finest volleyed finishes that you're ever going to witness in this third quarter. This one bounces for Pittman. Here it is. Goal. Trevi P. Dance, my friend. You've earned it. scored a vital goal with a very similar score line just the other night in Turlock. This time, he gets a chance to show off the dance moves at home. Show off with rather large air quotes. And right through the five bowl of Waltman for Pittman. Again, Iran Poyer Ruiz came out for warm-ups for the Sockers, felt something go and was unable to answer the bell. And Travis Pittman, who very much did not expect to be in this match, he had a party hat on 
And based on that dance, it looked like it was a party that was on. I think he's still got the party hat on holiday season. That's what it's all about. Look out. Tacoma. After taking a 4-1 lead in this third quarter. Well, let's get one back right there. That, the Sockers were begging to give up a goal that whole way. They get one back through who else? Nick Pereira. A goal for Tacoma. Makes it 6-5. And as the Sockers were just kind of had sixes and sevens and I, I almost want to say shambolic at the back there for about a 30-second period. A lot of ball watching. Not a lot of defensive shape, and Boris Pardo ends up paying the price for it as everybody else out in the field was kind of lost somewhere else. Brasileño. Is he up, Sarah, though? He tees up, Sarah, though. What a save by Waltman! Another save by Waltman, bouncing around. Escoto, another chance. Brandon, still Brandon, still Brandon. Oh, off the crossbar. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Now Danny Waltman takes a step over to prove the point. Contreras stepped in and drew a foul from Nick Pereira. Pereira. And a second whistle in quick succession. And Nick is told to head on down the highway. And Contreras says, I'm out of here, man. As you can see right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was subtly quite dirty, being on the opposite side of Kia Depp in his view. Put San Diego down at home 4-1. Then a run of five straight. Here's Pino. Sidewall pass for himself. Oh, and the ripping shot was just wide by about three inches. Himself. Three-man wall. He will pass it. Oh. And the good read by Serta. On the run. Farber in front. Farber with the ball. Open. The ball kind of settled there for a minute. Slav dug it out. Peewee. Here's Leo. Here. Slob looking for three. Pereira taken down. PJ. It is top of the arc for San Diego. Slav tips it. Childs takes a step down low. It's Leo and Waltman comes away with the ball. Easy as you please. The counter attack. It's Keats running to the middle. Keats firing and scoring right down the floor. The Stars tie the score. Corey Keats has put this one to sixes. Well, it wasn't really any kind of cosmic kite from Keats. It was just a straight line. Keats straight down the pitch. The slightest of angles that he had from the initial rollout, the throw out from Waltman, but you see that finish there from Keats. That was after just making a beeline from one spot on the pitch to the other with the ball at his feet. We have to defend both posts, and we've seen about three goals go in in that type of circumstance tonight. Well, how about Here's a Slav? How about a three-minute game with Bond? Slav off the wall, off of Waltman to week five of the NASL. This one driven and the deflection by Farber, but Waltman read it. Here's his throw out, and Leo oh, was able oh. to knock it down and intercept. Leo then turns McCluskey. And draws three and spits it out. It's 3v2. It's Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Slob scores! The hat trick! The lead! Who did it? Slavisa Uba Parapovic! And this place is going absolutely bonkers. And it wasn't the cleanest finish on a night where he scored two belters, including one of the goals of the season. This goal is all about Pee Wee. And the last little bit there to have Waltman almost wrong-footed there and leaning back towards his own net as it bounces off of the Tacoma goalie and in. Soccer's back here next Sunday. Star Wars night against Solis. This ball bouncing, Farber, Farber's got it! Classic, Brian Farber, swimming home, his fifth goal in five games. Pardo the assist, and the Sox are gonna win this one, baby! 8-6, the score. Paddle out, catch a wave. Farbeezy on the assist from Boris Pardo. You heard me correctly. Danny Waltman, eat your heart out. It's the Tacoma goalie, well known as the king of the 
throne assists. Sounds so good when they do it for Farber. And they've done it every game. Five games yeah. played, five goals for Brian Farber. Here's Pino. Will run out the clock at Pachanga Arena San Diego full time. Farber with two hands to the air says, are you not entertained? As the Sockers pull this one out on Slav's hat trick and Farber's flying finish late. Eight to six, your final score.